Hello everyone. Today we are going to start with chemical properties of halogens. The first chemical property is oxidation states. All the halogens are going to show minus one oxidation state because they just need one electron to complete their octet. Apart from this, chlorine, bromine and iodine can also show positive oxidation states when they combine with more electronegative elements like fluorine and oxygen. Fluorine never shows plus one oxidation state or positive oxidation states because of two reasons. First, it doesn't have empty d orbitals and therefore it cannot make more bonds. And second, it is the most electronegative element and hence it can never show positive oxidation state. How do they form more bonds? So this figure will make it very clear. The first diagram talks about the halogen atom in the ground state. Here you can see that the electronic configuration of any halogen like chlorine, bromine or iodine is going to be ns2 np5. They also have d orbitals and fluorine doesn't have d orbitals so these diagrams if you consider it for fluorine then you will not draw the d orbitals for fluorine. Now if the halogen makes one bond that is possible in the ground state because here we can see that there is one unpaired electron. So in this state the halogen will go undergo sp3 hybridization and will be making one bond and the oxidation state will become minus one if it is more electronegative and plus one if it is less electronegative. The first excited state can happen if the first outermost electron jumps to the outermost orbital. When this happens we get the first excited state and the number of electrons rise to 3. So these number of unpaired electrons which have risen to 3 can be used to make 3 bonds. Now the hybridization in this case is going to be by using all the orbitals sp3d. It can also happen that the second electron also jumps and this happens in the second excitation. When second excitation takes place, you will have more the number of unpaired electrons that is 5. And when you have 5 unpaired electrons, you can make 5 bonds and the oxidation state rises to plus 5. This is happening because the halogen is going to react with a very electronegative element like fluorine or oxygen. In this similar manner, when the third excited state takes place, the third electron also jumps to the outermost orbital. When this happens, as you can see in the figure, we have the maximum number of unpaired electrons which have risen to 7. When 7 is the ox uh, number of unpaired electrons, the oxidation state rises to plus 7. So we conclude by saying that the halogens can not only show minus oxidation state, but they can also show positive oxidation states when they react with more electronegative elements like fluorine and oxygen. That's all from this video and we'll continue with the chapter ahead in the next video. Thank you and keep watching.